In this video, we're going to be looking at Listing Pro customization options. First, we're going to take a look at the banner options and some menu styles you might like to use. And then we're going to look at the listing preview and search filters and some of the options you've got around there to customize it. We'll also then revisit the pricing plan and see how you can change the layout and some of the other features of the pricing plan. Then we're going to move on to the lead form and some of the customization option choices you have there. And then just finally, we'll finish off with the Listing Pro Command Center and the add-ons that are available within this area of the application. And to finish it off, if we have time, we might do a few tips and tricks just to help your directory stand out. Let's get started. In this section, we're gonna take a look at the header, the banner, and some of the menu options. So to do that, we go to theme options, we'll go to header, and this one here is the, the default. So that's your transparent header. What I'm gonna do for this demonstration is we're gonna change it to this one here. And let's take a look, look at this one. And we'll save that, we'll press update. And we can see that Instead of having our menus across the side, we now have a button which opens up. So we've got our about and our contact. So I quite like that. Uh, it's also a slightly enlarged the logo. Now, the next option we're going to take a look at is the banner. Now, by default, we have this banner here. You can see there's a whole bunch of choices here. And within each of these is other settings you can, you can take a look at as well, which is the search style, the category selection, and these types of things. So let's just, let's go with this one and we'll press save on this just to see how this comes through. So that's great. Now we've got our categories over here. We've, we haven't got the buttons. It's more of a, it's a different look. And I think this looks quite, quite, quite good. One of the other choices we've got when we do this is our opacity. Now, I've got that at 0.5. If we want to um, make it darker, we could go with, say, 0.8. And we'll refresh, and our image will disappear somewhat. And that sort of darkens up. It's just a different way to get a bit of different style. I'm probably going to go back to, say, a 0 0.6 with that one. We can also adjust our, our banner, our banner height. So I could say go with 920 here instead of the default. Let's just update that. And now you can see it's taking up the, the, the whole page. So it's just another way of, you know, these minor changes you, you can make to improve the, the look and feel and make your directory stand out. In this section, we're going to take a look at how we can modify and change our listing and our search. So let's just go back over to our directory. We're going to start off at the home page. And if we type in, actually, let's just search for restaurants and go submit. We can see here we've got the, the listings down the left hand side. We've got the map on the right. And we've got a bunch of filters here, including the, the features. So if we want to change this up a bit, what we need to do is go over to our WordPress admin site, head to theme options, we'll go to listing. And if we go to listing view here, we can see there's a, there's a number of options. So at the moment, this is the default albeit it's actually the mirror image of, of this one. So under under this, we can we can change it up a bit. So we might want to go with more of a, a list view than a grid. So if I hit save on this one, let's just take a look of what our search result will come back as. So there you go. Now we've got it in a, in a list rather than a uh, grid and, and, and I quite like that one. So next we're going to take a look at what we're what options we've got around here on the the search filters that that show. What we need to do is jump back over here and we were in listings but what we'll do is go down to theme options advanced filter. Now 
just as a way of demonstration, if I disable the search filter and hit save, we go back here and do a refresh. You'll note that all the, the, the search result filtering is, is now gone. Now, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you, you certainly have, have the option. So we're just going to turn that back on for now. Hit save changes, refresh, bring it back. And here we go. So you can see here's all the, the filtering options. So you can update these here. So we might turn off price and the ratings and in most view just as an example so if we go to save here we go back do a refresh now we've only got these these options here and this is the category one now you may want to turn the, the category off and if we wanted to do that we jump over to here hit disabled uh, actually near me we'll turn it off as well so take a look at that so we've, we've changed the filtering options we've customized that and we've just got the features and a couple of these options so that is a way you can you can change and customize your filters and we've looked at how you can customize how the listing shows so some other options you have in this area just to quickly run through before we wrap up this section is if we go back to listings and we go down to listing order so you can see over here um, it's going alphabetical so one of the things you might want to do just to give everyone a bit of a fair go is when you do listings order you might want to select random hit save and we'll just do a refresh and that just means that um, the listings order will be random every time so it's not always the same ones that come up and just one other thing for the for the user who's in here searching uh, we did change this to the list style but you can see here you can in fact toggle between both but by default we've changed this to be the list style so that wraps up the section on how you can change the look and feel of your listing results page and the search and some of those other bits and pieces that uh, can just help make the directory your look and feel. So now let's take a look at the pricing plans. Do that just off our main menu here, uh, up the top right, we add listing. And here are our pricing plans. So we can change this up a little bit further. If we go back over here and we go to pricing plans, at the moment, we've got the, the hot listing on this one. Let's just change that over to the basic one. First, we'll turn it off the premium. Oops. So we'll just turn that off. And remember to put our custom styling back. Hit update. Now we'll go to pricing plans again. We'll go to basic. First, we'll put our custom styling back because it always disappears. And just down the bottom here, we'll make this one the hot plan. Update. Now, let's just refresh this, take a look. So we've changed the, the hot plan from the premium over to the basic. Now, what if we want to change the actual layout of this? Uh, we can do that by going over here, heading to pages and going down to select your plan. Let's edit with Elementor. And here we've got our pricing plans. Now we just click on the little pencil and we've got a couple of options here. So at the moment we're in the vertical view with vertical view one. So we're gonna change this to the horizontal view. And now we've just got a bit of a different layout here in the horizontal. Now, there is a, a different option here, horizontal view two. Now, you know, it depends on your directory and your styling. This may be something you want to go with. Uh, for now, we're going to stick with horizontal view one. We're going to update the site. Don't forget to hit the update. Now, if we exit that and go back over here, we'll do a refresh. 
and now we have our updated pricing plans and that's a way you can just change the look and feel of your pricing plans give it a go see what works for you so next we're going to take a look at the lead form and to do that just from our home page if we say select restaurant to a search and let's just pick this wine bar so this is the lead form here so if someone's on the directory and they want to send a message to the owner of this wine bar this is where they would enter this information in so this can be customized and to do that we just go back to our admin and we'll go to listing pro command center we we'll go to add-ons and down here you can see listing pro lead form and we're just going to install this and now it's active so you can see now that the listing pro lead form is is activated and you can go in there and change a couple of those fields to to suit your needs if you if needed and it's just another area where you can customize your directory and make it stand out and be a bit unique the other thing worth noting why we're here is the premium add-ons by listing pro so they do have a number of add-ons like legal pro medical pro wedding pro and in these niches um, there's directories that are more targeted towards those types of directories and it's definitely worth taking a look um, you can you can check them out by um, just going into any one one of them here and expanding it out to, to look at the full the full range why we're also here we're going to take a quick look at the the visualizer and I'll just disable it for now and refresh we go over here to Tinto open up this directory what you'll see here is the standard rate us and review if we go back to this visualizer and activate it and do a refresh what you'll get now is more details to allow users to rate this listing so cleanliness service ambience price etc so it's just another area where you can customize and enhance your, your directory so in the final section of the video for today we're just going to quickly take a look at some other less known options around how you can change your listing details page so if you go to theme options and to, to listing detail you'll see you got this option here now if we go back over to the site just quickly and we go for Tinto because we know we've got some data in there click on the listing you get this this layout here which is the default however if we jump back over to here to the listing details and we go for style 2 save changes refresh and now you can see it's a slightly different style so you've got the details the reviews a bit more of a, a menu type option so it's definitely one to take a look at also there's a few others there we'll take a look at the third one and these are just out of the box easy configuration changes you can make to style your site yeah and this is the, the third one so it's um it just depends on you know what kind of look and feel you're going for but it's to make your directory your own and that's really the point of all of this the next thing we should take a quick look at is if you go to general now I can't actually show the full impact of this but when you're building any website or directory you should be aware of the impact um, of your changes and your look and feel in terms of mobile these days around 50 to 60 percent of your traffic is mobile so you've got a number of out-of-the-box options here for mobile you've got the app view responsive and app view too so I would recommend you do take a look at those and pick which one works best with your directory and the customizations and the changes you've made because they do certainly give a different um, a different look and feel so I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, if you have 
give us a like, subscribe to our channel. We've got more videos coming and thanks for checking it out.